Dear friends, hello, how are you doing today? I'm David Afrobov and welcome to my, I even don't know, daily, nightly, <laughs> weekly show because I'm completely tired, I'm still on the road, I have too many trips ahead of me this month, but I decided to give something special to my collectors. I don't have my comfortable chair, so I can continue broadcast from there, but at least I have an internet connection that is already good. So today, me and my father and my brother, we decided to give you three items, three, four unique pieces. Melody of the Night, Ali by the Lake, Freshness of Cold, and what else? Hold on, I forgot. Sorry. Okay. Melody of the Night, Ali by the Lake, Ryan Rustle, and Freshness of Cold. You're going to receive these free paintings free of charge. You just pay shipping and handling of $99. But what actually are you going to receive? You're not going to receive unique one of a kind originals. Of course not. You're going to receive something, in my opinion, even better. You're going to receive four limited edition Jeclés. What means Jeclés? Jeclés, it's a print on canvas, hand embellished by my father. It's not like regular hand embellished like you can, anybody can do it. It's have a texture almost two inches. So it's three-dimensional piece of art. It's three-dimensional painting. We never brought stuff like this for sale, never. So today, only through Facebook, only to my Facebook collectors, we offer these unique pieces basically for free. You just pay $99 and four pieces gonna be shipped to you as soon as possible. I think it's a good deal. What do you think? I'm, thousand percent sure you like the idea so what you need to do you just go to my site to the link in the broadcast add it to the shopping cart and make a payment and this four unique limited edition high texturized jeclay is yours as my father is saying that it's even better quality than our regular pieces regular or originals because he have so much texture so much colors so much contrast so you're gonna do you're gonna love it so today we decided you know it's new months coming so what to do i was like hoping that july gonna end so now july end boom we have now august and as my business anal analytics saying august it's even worse than july so I even don't want to think about it. I'm just working. I'm traveling. My father gets new inspiration because he needs to create something new. And I'm working on developing new uh, software for our website. So pretty soon it's going to be really nice. Basically, we're going to be the only website in the industry of the single artists that have it. We're going to have augmental reality options so you can put your phone on the wall and it's going to put painting in the place where you choose it. Also, we're gonna have a special software that you can take your picture, let's say your face, my face, or a house, and it's gonna create a form of painting from scratch. Something very interesting. And it's not gonna be regular applications that everybody uses, it. no. It's a unique application that's gonna paint like my father. So we're working with my team to teach robot to paint like Leonid Afromov. Where the idea came from? One university uh, requested my father to give them a copyright to use it for development product, project. So my father asked, what's, this, uh, what's the developer project? We want to learn, teach a robot how to paint. Not like uh, filters, like a lot, right now it's a lot of software that give you filters. So you do the filtration and it's show like a style. No, 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 no. Here's the idea, a robot paint like Leonid Afrimov. So he say, choose my father's art. And we said, no problem. Only, <coughs> we agree, but only in one term. You know what's the term? Term is very simple. If you provide us blueprinting for our website. So I want to use the same technology on my website. So what do you think? So pretty soon, soon, maybe two, three, five months is going to be live. It's going to be really cool. So you can put your phone on anything that you want. 
click one button, wait, now it's uh, wait time about 10 minutes because the robot is not paying fast. Uh, and you have a painting of Leonid Afrimov. You're going to be able to, to order print, poster, phone case, mouse pad, whatever you want. Or even you can ask my father to create original based on this painting. So it's nice. But now these people make a huge hole in my father's head because they, let's check this, let's check this. Hold on, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, it's everybody calling me. But it's fine. So it's going to be something super interesting. So robot going to do basically for you painting. Of course, it's just going to be on the screen. So far, nobody invented robots that can paint. But uh, maybe in some near future, it's going to happen. But you know, I'm not really care. For me, it's very interesting to learn, teach robot how to paint because my father said he teach a lot of people but to teach a machine it's different so it's completely different experience like machine listen she understand but she understand her way <coughs> so pretty soon i'm going to show paintings that aframov slash robot created <coughs> i'm sorry in germany was cold and i got a little bit sick so now i'm preparing for another trip so i'm like on the road so don't forget, today we want, me and my father want to give you four new prints, Gicles or oil painting, call it as you like, but you will not see the difference between oil and this Gicles for free. You just need to go to the link, make a payment for shipping. <coughs> I'm sorry, and the prints are yours. <coughs> By the way, the shipping is very, very fast. We can ship them almost instantly. My brother just arrived from Peru, so he's ready to do the shipping. <coughs> I'm sorry. The weather changes something that kill me. In Mexico, it's about 40 degrees. In Germany, it's 20. We've been in Amsterdam, it's 12. Then we come back to Germany, 20. Well, it's... Very difficult, but it's okay. We're gonna survive. So, any questions? Anything? I'm gonna be really happy to answer. So, no more questions. So, let's continue. We have in total three sets. So, only three people can have the opportunity to buy these paintings, to receive this unique four limited edition, highly texturized paintings. Texture. You know, regular texture on the, my father's painting is about a quarter of the inch. Here it's almost inch and a half. It's a really texturized. It's a really heavy painting. So it's very interesting work. So it looks so beautiful. It's so... I even don't know, vibrant. Let's say it's so vibrant, I can even not imagine. So we decided to give it for free. You can even resell it on eBay. Just get our authorization to do it. Okay, yes, I'm planning to visit all around the Europe, but this time I had the plans, I had a big plans. I Now I'm planning to go to Israel pretty shortly. Uh, but, you know, some family issues, I need to come back, go back, go forth, go back. It's like very, very complicated. I, I already tired and uh, I would love to come back home and get asleep for about two, three days. No. <laughs> okay. All right, so any questions? No. So let me tell you more about the application. Application is going to call, be called iAfromov. So far, we didn't come with a better name. The application is going to create paintings on your screen, like in Leonid Afromov. So let's say you want your face painted by Leonid Afromov, but you cannot afford it. I can imagine because my father charged pretty expensive for the commission. <coughs> so
so, so here with one click of a button and little weight now it's we working to make it weight less painting gonna be yours so the image gonna convert to a painting that created by Leonid Afrimov. I don't know my brother or something. Hold on. Da? Hello. I don't know. Boris is calling. I have no idea why. All right. So more questions. Anything. So. Yeah, I would love to teach as I go, but I teaching how to sell art. My father tried to teach how to create art, but now he's teaching the robot. It's very interesting challenge because, you know, try to imagine he teaching machine, similar, something similar to Siri that you have on your Apple devices. He teaching the machine how to paint. So he explains the machine. So machine does something and said, no, this is not good. This background should be. And he said, human need to explain twice. To machine, he explained once, but machine have an issue it's not human it doesn't have a soul so now what me and programmers super talented i don't con call them teenager but let me call them teenager because it's a kids 20 years old 22 years old they have a supervisor and they're doing something they're trying to bring artistic soul towards the machines this is what we're working right now Try to imagine artwork created by machine, but not filters. Filters I can give you hundreds of applications. It's even open source code like that convert one to another. Not interesting. It's a machine that gonna paint. So it's not gonna put apply filter. It's gonna paint from scratch. It's gonna have his her own vision. <coughs> it's super interesting. I don't know like how it's gonna give any marketing feedback to us i don't know how it's going to work but as an experiment it's super interesting because nobody else does it done it i believe nobody done it because of the not interesting for marketing for it because who, who needed but as an experiment it's going to be very interesting Yeah, it's a lot of robots every day, and you know, I saw my I play with machine chess. This I, this is an old, but I saw the robot that play music based, let's say, on Beethoven or Mozart. He create his new composition. It's really interesting. So I saw such a beautiful, such a unique stuff that not possible. But now robot gonna paint like Leonid Afrimov. And you're going to be able to control it. So the application, you know, we don't want uh, Skynet happen. So application have a control. So you can say, I want this and this and this happen in the painting. I want more blue, more orange. Take orange from here, add blue from for there. So it should be something really, really interesting. So, so far, while robot is under construction, I give you the human paintings created by human Leonid Afrimov and today is free of charge. It's four paintings free of charge. You just need to go and pay shipping $99. Paintings are on canvas. So you no need to do anything else. So the offer is really, really nice. Okay, Alicia, what do you have? Okay, yeah, Alicia now fighting with uh, illegal reproductions of my father's paintings. Basically, uh, my business almost failed this year. It was very difficult year for us. I believe it was more, more difficult than any other year, only because of one reason, fakes, fake Afromovs. Too many fakes on the market. I'm really so tired of them. I even don't know what to do, but it's so many fakes. And we're reporting thousands. And you know what I want to say? Amazon, eBay, they really cooperative. So when we report, they immediately remove these fake items and thank you to them. Because, you know, 
for artists, for me, I, I never was looking, okay, they sell fake, what can I do about it? But they sell fake in so big quantities, we finding some stores on Amazon that sell, sold hundreds of items. We report them, Amazon, thank you, he said, remove it. And I'm sorry we didn't notice it before. For example, on Alibaba, we found a video how somebody doing the fake afterm of painting. So we report them. And what I ask for the people, don't buy from these companies my art. I don't say anything else. 99% of the sale is legit. Everything is fine. But afterm of sale by afterm of. <coughs> Not by anybody else. Only afterm of. Prince I canvas. I don't see any other option. So go for it. If you like it, if you love Afromov, don't buy fake. Fake, it's just support of piracy. Why do you need support of piracy? You know, it's not uh, Jack Squirrel uh, from the movie. It's not that kind of nice, handsome pirate. It's some big company that taken my images, your images, don't give it about copywriting, trademarks, it just are printed, the low quality, but they sell fast and a lot. And what happening? People buy, let's say, for 10, 20 dollars, said, okay, I'm not gonna return it, forget it. But he never gonna come back to me. They never gonna buy real Afromov. The name Afromov getting destroyed by them. So we're fighting, no excuses. We're removing accounts like, I received a couple emails already from some people like, oh, we never knew it's your painting, of course. You can believe it. You take it, you take it out of my website, and you never knew it's mine. Ha ha ha! Something very funny. So, please t retract your complaint from Amazon. We're gonna pay you money. We don't need your money. We just don't want you to sell. It. We just don't want pirates sell our stuff. Because you know, you go to complaints board to this consumer board. That's a lot of people that never bought from us and they even don't understand. This, this I don't understand. So let's say you buy from some Mickey Mouse site. You receive something like, not real. Why are you not complaining towards them? Why are you complaining towards us? I have one complaint. This consumer person didn't bought from us. It doesn't help. He, oh, I bought from Afro. No, you didn't bought from Afro. Give me one proof, something. No, you don't have anything. I'm now waiting for my plane. It's very uncomfortable position, sitting on the floor. But here is outlet for the internet. At, le at least this help. So, my friends, take these four pieces that me and my father are giving you for free. It's a free, four free, unique, unique, high quality, limited edition mixed media paintings. So yes, background, it's printed. I'm not hiding it. But actual painting is painted. It's hand painted with a lot, a lot of texture. It's so many textures you never saw it in your life. It's something new because, you know, I'm teaching robot how to paint and my father, he tried to find something new in the industries to create something new. He tried, he looking for the new wave of, of inspiration. So it's priceless. Okay. Any questions? Because soon probably they're gonna call me and say, Oh, you need to go to the airport to fly. <sighs> Again. You know <laughs> what's funny, a couple of years ago I was afraid to fly. I had you know this like uh, aerophobic calls it this way. I was afraid to fly, so I preferred to drive, to walk, to scroll, whatever, but not to fly. In the last two years, I flew maybe 150, 170 times. For me, playing now is a place to sleep. So I sit and sleep. Wake up when the stewardess is here, right? This is my flight. So, my friends. This is a super good offer. It's not because we want to get rid of this painting. Oh, it's a limited edition. It's something that I want to give you for your support, for your trust in Leonid Afromov. 
because it's very difficult. It's super difficult to find this market when usually we don't have competition because my father is a my father. But now thousands of sites were reporting to DMCA every single day. Thousands of sites. I'm already like crying. Alicia just now sent me the message. Look, this site, what they doing. And I'm like, oh my god, it's also pirate. So it's it's some kind of ridiculous. But with your support, we're gonna beat them up. Because they cannot provide this quality. They don't know how to pay it. Only my father and maybe the robots that he's teaching him will be interesting. Okay, Michelle, uh, how to get these pieces? Super simple. I'm gonna send you the private message with the link. Just go to this link and make a purchase. Simple and easy. Okay, I see one set is sold. Two more sets left. Set sold to Florida. Okay, we're gonna ship it as soon as possible. Just send you the private message. Any more questions before I go to sleep on the plane? So don't forget, my friends, do not forget real paintings. Today, four for $99. Yes, it was first printed. I am not hiding it. So don't tell me I'm a liar. No, it's first printed, but then it's painted on top. I'm trying to accommodate myself. Then it's painted on top by my father, not by students, by my father, with a lot of texture. I cannot show it here, I only have like two paintings here and one painting here, but it's an original because we have a meetings with the galleries in Germany. And to be honest, I don't like galleries. Even though in Germany they were really nice. They were really, oh, I can do like this. like a passport photo. They were really nice. <coughs> they were really friendly. But the idea is the same. I give you 50 bucks and I sell for 5,000. Oh, you're not interested. So probably we cannot work. It's a good one. The best offer I received 60%. I said, okay, fine. 60% It's something that's possible, but we control the price. I tell you what price to sell. No, 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 no. We're going to put $10,000. Who gonna buy it for you ten thousand when it's more on my website is three four hundred dollar? It's gonna sit in your gallery forever. I don't want it to sit in your gallery for it. So it's not worth it. We found a couple contacts, but at the end I'm not really happy about it. Let's say this way. It could be much, much better. But it's okay, it's a business. I still trying to I, what's funny, here in a local big department store, uh, they sell fakes off of prints. So we reported them, they stopped to selling them. So I go to the management and said, I want to sell real off of prints. No, we, can, we, not, we cannot work with you, we only work with a couple selected companies. So you work with selected companies that sell you fake? So it's, it's a fight. No, I don't speak, no Parleo Francais, no. I just been in France, but in five days that I visited Paris, I, uh, Normandy, I didn't learn any friends. I know Bonjour, I know a couple like. I can order the food, but I cannot do the presentation in France, in French. But food I can order without any problem. You know, I've been, <laughs> we've been in my, with my daughter in a French restaurant in Normandy. And they don't speak English, so they gave us a menu. Menu doesn't have a pictures, nothing. So I like. I said, so we took like one, two, three, four, five. So I ordered five meals, and she ordered five meals. My idea was salad, soup, dessert, and some to eat. So she ordered three can, three cakes, and two soups. I ordered two soups and uh, three salads. So 
<laughs> this is my experience. By the way, it was super tasty. So this is how we, we order food. But I travel a lot, and uh, most difficult to order food was in Japan, in one restaurant when nobody speaks even close English, and we knew in Japanese. In French, at least I can understand. Soup, soup, it's about this. It. But in Japanese, I had no clue. I opened the menu. I said, this, this, and this. So I had four, uh, like, appetizers. But it was super tasty. The restaurant is good. For example, when me and my brother been in China, uh, the restaurant had everything, pictures. So it was very easy to order. So you just... Market and that's it. So you see, you see a picture, but it's interesting. I love to travel. Basically, this is the only thing that's interesting. It's to travel. Everything else, it's I don't say it's boring, but when you see something, nobody can take it from you. It's priceless. Any investment, anything can go down, go go up. But what you saw in your eyes, your inspiration. Nobody can take it. So this is why it's priceless. This is why my, my paintings of my father, he see, you see his inspiration. You see the places that he saw is his artistic vision. Let's say me. I'm sitting now in this, I even didn't call it hotel, but something. Surrounded in a couple paintings and suitcases. And uh, I see it's normal. What see my father? He sees splash of colors. He see like absolutely different than us because he's an artist and you can see exactly the same on your walls you just need to order his paintings you know what big i like the idea i gonna let's do the contest the person that's gonna spot more fakes gonna receive any unique one-of-a-kind original from my website free of charge any i don't care just report me the fakes in different languages in different sites in different countries because the only fakes that we can take english and spanish we don't speak other languages so if you see in your country fake in any other place fakes just tell me we're going to report them immediately because i hate these fakers i don't care if they get some money it's not my business, but people stop buying for me because we did the survey and survey said, oh, I received your painting. I don't like it. It's ugly. It's ugly. I said, where did you put it? Give me order ID. And I see they even didn't bought from us. Of course, it's ugly because it's not done by Afro of Studio. No matter who it does, ugly creation created by my father and his students, original created by my father only, we are we guarantee the good quality. So if you decided to buy something not from us and it's not good quality, it's mean you're never gonna come back to my site. I cannot prove I'm not a scammer. For example, some person said, oh, I see Afrimov sold on Alibaba. It's mean he got paid from it. It's mean all Afrimov, it's mean nothing. It means they just took my images and because it's have a good sale, people buy it a lot. They decided to produce it like anybody, anything else they produce. What can I do about it? I try to report it. They remove in one day, you know, today we remove one, tomorrow 100 new one growing up. So theoretically, theoretically, based on like a business practice, it's good that somebody copying us, it's mean painting force it to be copied. They don't copy everybody. But business-wise, just be smart, don't buy Afromo from some places that for sure it's not Afromo for sales. Because Afromo it's Afromo, it's only our paintings, nothing else. So let's do the contest. I like the idea. Let's tell people who find more fakes, we're gonna get unique one or kind of original for free find more fakes and get more originals i think it's a good idea it's a super good idea by the way
we have uh, we even have better like the signed document we have a uh, trademark leonid afamov's official international trademark our trademark register in the united states and uh, lately we even did the trademark register in the republic of china because we also want to be protected there so we have trademark in mexico most of the countries we have independent trademark and uh, this trademark protects the name and we have copyright for each image so each image that created we have official copyright this is image register so it's it's normal practice so basically it should be enough to protect ourselves but these people don't care what they're doing <laughs> They take image off my website. No matter if it have, it could have like this big protector. They don't care with Photoshop or with some software. They remove it like this. Then they print it, small size. Scan it. They have bigger. Scan it, bigger. And then they can, of course, they losing sharpness, they losing details. But at the end quality, it's something that worth twenty fifty dollar. But the problem is. Forget about the legal, it's a bad quality, and people after they receive it, they never come back to us. This is one way of piracy. Piracy using the images of the website. This piracy, of course, it's not good, but this is something that I can, I don't say I can live with it, but at least it's not origin issue. We're fighting with this, but it's not origin. origin when they take my image, even with my trademark logo, they sell it as an Afromov, promising same painting, and they just order some cheap copies from some mediocre artist to do the cheap copy and send it to the buyer. So the buyer, sure, they bought from us. We even saw payment, uh, somebody had an email for PayPal called Leonid Afromov payment at, I believe, at Hotmail that comes up like this. Try to imagine. Leonid Afromov paint. So you buy the painting and you see an email Leonid Afromov painting it. And you say, wow, it's Afromov paintings. But it's not. So we reported. We, I don't know. I have a full team of lawyers working 24 7. It's such, such many that I don't know what to do. But we're going to win. Every single day, every single moment. We're receiving reports from Amazon and other sites that this listing is removed. This listing is removed. <coughs> okay, let's see. Let's see more questions. Because, you know, protect yourself you can easily from people that, you know, they just steal one image. But when the professional is coming, <laughs> almost not possible. You need to have, like, strong legal team or for example we send two more complaints to amazon and one reinstation also some legit sellers got hit by my legal team because if you bought a form of pain tickets your position possession you have the full right to resell it no problem whatsoever but you need to know perfectly that when you resell it when you want to resell it, you need to put like certificate number, order number from the site. You need to put some information, some intel that going to help us to identify if it's a real or it's not real. So don't be mad if you suddenly your Amazon listing is suspended. Don't get too crazy about it. Just call me. Hey, David, I bought this painting for you. Here's the image of the painting. Here's the image of the certification. Do me a favor, send me, reinstate this listing. Immediately I contact Amazon and say, hey guys, oops, I made a mistake, please, I'm sorry. And you know what, Amazon perfectly understands that mistake happened and they reinstate listing. Same with eBay, Wish, whatever site we report, exactly the same. Because try to imagine we have two people sitting and scanning internet for images. I have one robot who also is good interesting software that analyzing like searching searching for images and trying to find it so i even don't know how it's working but it's something cool and we're finding these fake items 
and we're removing them. So if you find something, tell me. For me, it's super important because otherwise, in one day, I'm going to say, you know what, guys, Afrom of Ghana. No more Afrom of paintings. It's cheap price. We're not able to support it. This is issues that could happen because of this piracy. It's that such that serious. It's not something simple. These pirates basically destroy the business. I don't care if people buy from them. I care, but okay, people buy from them. But at least if they give a good quality, but they cannot because only Afrof can do it. An image on the side is uploaded 72 megapixel. No matter what you do, it's gonna stay this side small. Postcard you can print, me, maybe even that more possible. But they're trying to get a first dollar and they're thinking that you're just not coming back, so it's fine. They try to get a first dollar to, you know, to get paid fast, let's say this way. Okay, so don't forget, today, set of four, my father's favorite paintings, only $99 you pay it, it's just to cover shipping. FedEx, no matter what, they don't want to work for free. Why? I don't know. <laughs> only us. We want to give you something special, so you will see the quality, and you never buy from fakers. This is why I give you these free items. I have no problem to do it. I'm going to give you free items, just don't buy from fakers. Learn more about Afromov. Don't believe to this BS at uh, these consumers that people trying, you know, we report them trying to report us so they make a fake comments and that says so I bought a you know they put what pe whatever people say them they put like people say to us it's baloney but what can we do okay my friends so today any not any the set of four most favorite form of paintings only $99 it's a good good deal go for it really it's a good deal. It's a super good offer. Thank you very much. I see everybody tomorrow. Or maybe later to the flight going to be delayed. I, anyway, going to have nothing to do. Thank you. I'm David Afromov, afromov.com.